Well, the incredible thing about um, this project is it really all began with this one photograph, which is owned by the Museum of Fine Arts. And when we acquired it, it was just called Young African American Couple in Front of Segregated Movie Theater. We didn't know where it was, where it, where it was made, where what year it was, anything really about it. And the research to discover where it came from and what the story behind it was is really what led me to make um, create this exhibition in the end. I went to the Gordon Parks Foundation and they helped me realize that it was part of a project that never was published in Life magazine, was, but was all about segregated education in the years before Brown versus Board of Education. When Gordon Parks was given the opportunity to um, really tell a story of segregated education through the lens of his own childhood. He goes back to Fort Scott, Kansas um, to try and track down the 11 uh, classmates who went to school with him at the all-black uh, elementary school in Fort Scott. And that um, odyssey, that going back to Fort Scott for Gordon Parks was incredibly important, but in a funny way, it was equally important for me, and it led me to Wichita, which is where the archives are, and where I was able to really learn about these objects.